Matheby. Thanks to senatorial candidate and sophomore enthusiast Roy Moore, Republicans have to ask themselves a tough question. Which is worse, electing an alleged pedophile or a Democrat? Accusations today that Roy Moore initiated a sexual encounter with a then 14-year-old girl and relationships with three other teenagers. Gave her alcohol, touched her over her bra and underwear, um, and, and guided her to touch him over his underwear. Another woman coming forward with allegations against Roy Moore. He said, you're just a child. And he said, I am the district attorney of Etowah County. And if you tell anyone about this, no one will ever believe you. It's difficult to hear about these women's accounts, but I bet if R. Kelly put a sick beat under it, we'd dance to it. <laughs> Some sex monsters are still weirdly tolerated. <laughs> When Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell heard the news, he immediately sprang into inaction. Peter McConnell, do you have to represent any on-the-record accusations against Roy Moore, sir? Thank you, Congressman. Thank you, Congressman. Can they see me if I don't move? <laughs> They're reporters, Mitch, not T-Rexes. <laughs> It took three days for McConnell to get out of beach ball mode and say he believed Moore's <laughs> accusers. And I'm sure it was their heart-wrenching stories that helped him and Senate Republicans remember that they never liked Steve Bannon's candidates. I'm sorry, I meant sexual assault in the first place. I think he should step aside. He should step aside. He should step aside. For the good of yourself, your family, and your state, step aside. Message for Roy Moore, Thanks. Senator. Get out. Get out! After a few days to weigh the pros and cons, Republicans are totally anti-child molester. Oh, whoops. Except for the ones in Moore's own state. The women should be prosecuted if they thought Moore was predatory and allowed him to exist for 40 years. Other than being with an underage person, he didn't really force himself. He would still vote for Moore even if he did commit a sex crime because he could never vote for a Democrat. Take Joseph and Mary. Mary was a teenager. Joseph was an adult carpenter. They became parents of Jesus. There's just nothing immoral or illegal here. Oh, come on. I may be a dirty liberal now, but I went to Catholic school. Even I know the Bible says my teenage crush, sexy buff Jesus, was an immaculate conception. How can you call yourself a Christian and not know your hero's origin story? That's like being a Wolverine fan and telling everyone, you know, he got those claws after he fell on a couple of hedge trimmers in a tool shed. And Jim Ziegler isn't the only Alabama evangelical who seems to have accidentally picked up the porn version of the Bible. Oh no, the three wise men are here to deliver a pizza. <laughs> Almost 40% of Alabama Christians say these allegations will only make them more likely to vote for more. I think it's just people are attacking him because he, like, is a Christian and because that's how the world works. Am I going to believe a lie in liberal media? No. God forgives the foolishness of youth. I think it's a witch hunt. We've all been young. We've all been rebellious. We've all done something. Hello, 911. I think everyone in Alabama might be a pedophile. <laughs> Actually, are getting some support for their conspiracy theories. This week, some Alabama voters got robocalls from an extremely real Washington Post reporter. Hi, this is Lonnie Bernstein. I'm a reporter for the Washington Post. I'm calling to find out if anyone at this address is a female between the ages of 54 to 57 years old willing to make damaging remarks about candidate Roy Moore for a award of between $5,000 to $7,000. We will not be fully investigating these claims. However, we will need a written report. Whoa, hashtag fake Jews. Is that what you think Jewish people sound like? Because it sounds like the penguin fucked Fran Drescher. Okay, so leaving aside the voicemails of the elders of Zion, why does Roy Moore suddenly have so many friends? He's never been Mr. Popularity. When he went to Vietnam, he was so disliked that even his fellow soldiers wanted to kill him. <laughs> Is it still called friendly fire if they hate your guts? <laughs> what is wrong with Alabama? Okay, and also New York, all right, and Los Angeles. Oh, and all the Thanksgiving tables where creepy uncles are still allowed. You know what, actually, this isn't just an Alabama problem, it's a human problem. It's easy to condemn someone else's predator, but it's harder when it's your own 
critically acclaimed pervert. I can scream about Roy Moore all day, and I have, but it won't matter if his own neighbors keep making excuses for him. Each community has to kick out their own creeps. That applies whether you're in politics, entertainment, or whatever the fuck you call Steven Seagal's profession. And <laughs> it's hard, especially when those people have the power to hire us, fire us, or presumably have us murdered by Russian mobsters. <laughs> We've made some important progress in the entertainment industry, but it is not enough. Everyone in Hollywood is patting themselves on the back for exiling Harvey Weinstein, but this week, The Hollywood Reporter raved about Daddy's Home too, proclaiming Mel Gibson is once again family friendly. Because nothing says family friendly like a racist domestic abuser with a drinking problem and the words Daddy's Home. <laughs> So if you're watching from Alabama, first of all, go Crimson Tide. I'll root for any football team that sounds like a really heavy period. <laughs> Secondly, if you want to prove that your lovely state is better than liberal sex-crazed Hollywood, the voter registration deadline for the special election is November 27th. Please prove all of us Yankee assholes wrong about you. We'll be right back.